Ciao everyone! I'm back after a long holiday. I taken off um, for the Christmas holidays and then also for my birthday. And then I think I posted a video about a Capricorn or something and a video during on my birthday actually. It was on the 7th of January. So this is leading on into my next topic, which is like a birthday haul, things that I got for my birthday. And I got a lot of new lipsticks, like this one today, which has created a monster, this lipstick. Okay, because I cannot get enough of it. So, the one I have on today is by Makeup by Mario, and it's called Bronx Baby. They say, I bought it at Sephora, and they have on the Sephora display, Mario's favorite. And I said, okay, it's his favorite. I'm going to try it. Besides that, the color is beautiful. The packaging also, not to get off topic, but the packaging also is very beautiful. It's a magnetic, super luxe, very nice. And this is Baby Bronx. It's very, very beautiful. The lipstick itself is super smooth and just... A little tad glossy super luxurious feeling on the lips I love that click I, lo I, lo I love anything that has magnetic closure I think that's super super nice but anyway this is baby Bronx or Bronx baby sorry if I said it wrong Bronx baby and today I have it on with um, Maybelline lip liner in um, magentic mauve so this is what my lip combo today looks like and really i love it so the reason why i said this has created a monster is because i bought this one and i couldn't get enough of it so i had to go back and buy more and i bought all of the shades that i really liked and that i thought that i would wear a lot I didn't find any need in any really orangey shades because they just don't go with my skin tone and I don't wear reds a lot so I never bothered with the reds. There is I think a fuchsia one that I like. I might try that. So the next one that I'm going to show you is called Nolita and she's very pretty. She's also a little bit like the previous one but a little bit more mauve so this is nolita here bronx baby nolita it's very beautiful I, I really i'm addicted to them i love them and i hope he makes more of them actually and in this formula and then the next one i have is 917 i think it's a little bit like the 90s style a little mauvey but also a little tan and that's it here 917 it's very similar to this but this is a little more brown and this one has a little more rose tone to it this is 917 so so pretty so pretty and then I also got one that's a little bit out of my comfort zone because I generally don't wear anything this light and this is Midtown but I got it because I can add it to other lipsticks and just alter the shade so this one is Midtown here and I think if you put a liner on it like this color magnetic mauve or if you put totally toffee on it you can take it in another direction and it would be beautiful so these are the shades that I got. I have four of them. So pretty. They are my favorite, okay? I can't get enough of them. I've been wearing them almost every day and the texture is super smooth. So if you have, you know, maturing lips that are, can be a little dry, they just make your lips look super, super gorgeous. So the next one that I got was the Patrick Tall lipstick. The packaging is also stunning on this, but what can I say? They're shiny and they look nice, but a little fingerprinty. I'm not a fan of fingerprints on my makeup. Anyway, this one is in Seductive. Okay, this is the shade Seductive. 
you will see a theme here. I will put it right here. So this is seductive. It's really a very matte lipstick. There's no gloss or no sheen to it at all, but it's also very smooth and slick when you put it on. It's beautiful. I still love the shade a lot, but the color story here is pretty much the same. And I really love these muted mauve shades. So this one is the Patrick Ta. And um, I got my birthday gift from Sephora and I chose the Coasis, Coasis, I think that's how you say it, Coasis package. This is the uh, lip gloss that was in it. it. Tends to match everything that I have going on here. And there was this lip gloss and a brow gel, just a mini little brow gel. You know, all, all of you know that I don't have brows, so the brow gel will not come of any use for me. So I gave it away and I kept the lip gloss. So this is the lip gloss and it would look good over anything that I have. Now let's try it on today with what I got on here. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. I've had these lip glosses before. I wasn't a fan. And they, um, they expire very quickly or they turned rancid or bad for some reason. And I don't know why, but anyway, I chose this and this is my lip combo for today. And if you stick around for a few more minutes, you will see another video clip that I've added to this one, which is about my fashion today. It's my first video about fashion and what I'm wearing. So please be patient. It's not perfect. But anyway, it's my style and what I chose to wear today and some new things that I got. I hope you enjoy and I will see you again soon. Mwah. Bye, my friends. Tell my friends, I was asked to do a fashion video. I've never done one of these fashion videos before, so please bear with me. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. And I decided that I would show you because some of the things that I'm wearing are new, some are not new, but I mix them. And this is what I have on today. So this is my fashion video for you. I hope you like it. Please be patient. I've never done them before. So today I found um, an oversized white button-up shirt and of course my husband's tie because I love men's ties on a lady. I was told it's a little bit of a masculine style but I think it's a little edgy. Maybe the 80s style when we used to wear men's ties. Ladies used to wear men's ties at that time. I don't know but I think it looks nice on a lady. And I have on some new pants that I got from Halera. I have a lot to say about Halera, so you'll probably find out all about that soon. But anyway, these are navy in color, and I really like them. They're nice. So this is what the, the top of it looks like. It has a little button and a zipper here, and a little, it's quite a big pocket. But it has cute little button details here and I like to keep something flowy over the top of it because they're fitted pants and I hide my mommy pooch so they have nice pockets here too they're very stretchy they are nice I do have that to say but I will tell you all about that shortly so this is my style for today and I have on a pair of soft mock I don't know if you can see them black boots and this is Lilia, my main coon. She made it to the video again. And when I'm going out today, I would put on this brown leather jacket because I think it would look nice with the navy color. I do also have black, but this was this is what I would wear out today if I if I'm going out because it's very cold out here now. And it's not a really nice day to go out. But anyway, this is what I would wear out. And the bag that I got is also something new. 
my husband got it for me so it matches nicely with my navy color and black and orange it has lots of colors so it will go with pretty much everything and it goes nicely with my boots so this is my outfit of the day please let me know if you want me to continue to make more of these little outfits of the day and what i would wear and how i would style things i really like that but it's just a beginning also i have on little silver hoops like this and the lipstick you've already heard about it so my friends i hope that you enjoyed it please leave your comments in the section below and i'll see you again soon Mwah. bye